I'm having to like really squeeze. You keep forgetting to squeeze. <laughs> you have to squeeze when you feel a squeeze, DJ. <laughs> Salt's third wheel dates might be the most hands-on dating show you've ever seen because not only do we do the matching, we rock up on the date too. And I, Lauren Windle, will be playing Gooseberry and helping people find love. If everyone gets on well, they can go off on an IRL date in real life. But if not, they can select URL and we'll put a link at the bottom of the show so that viewers can apply to date them. So for fun, I love to do Netflixing, uh, it's my thing. And also I go, like, love to go for long walks, country walks. And then eating out as well, it's quite a big one for me. Yeah, I love my food, so I'm a big foodie. So. I like to dance, go out dancing. Um, typically Latino dances and um, I like to write so I write poems, mini stories and journal quite a lot um, and I sew. Cheeky Chappy DJ is 38 years old. He lives in Coventry and works as a part of a team of support staff. While 31 year old Joanna is a healthcare assistant and assists with the care of people's health in London. I would say um, I'm a good listener in the past, I wasn't too much of a listener, but recently I am taking more on board what the partner the other half has to say. And also, I, um, I like to encourage. I'm nurturing, supportive, fun, understanding, and I have integrity. But the most important trait in a partner for me is to have that comfort from the other partner, the opposite sex, and to be reassuring and um, to hold your hands like when you're done to, to go through the storms and issues of life together and you can win that way. Integrity, um, because I need to be able to trust the person and when they're telling me something I need to believe that they believe in those things and they are who they say they are. My ultimate way of life, definitely without missing words with someone rude and snobbish. I'm habitual lying. My conservative gosh. It's Demi Moore, movie night would be great with her. And then food maybe afterwards. Brad Pitt, even though he's a bit old. <laughs> um, and um, an ideal date with him would be us having a meal and wine facing the ocean, both sunset or sunrise, and um, having deep conversations. <laughs> Sadly, I think we're looking down the barrel of a mismatch or a match, but not a match, if you know what I mean. I think they might both go URL, possibly one of them will go IRL, but I don't think we're sending them off on a date. Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, you ready? No, yeah. What do you mean no? I, no, I mean yeah. <laughs> will no. I be able to go to the toilet if I need to? No, you're what? trapped here now. No, no there's <laughs> absolutely no way. We did let her go to the loo, don't worry. Hello! Welcome, welcome. Yeah. How does it feel to be sitting at the third wheel dates table? It feels surreal, you know. It feels surreal. Yeah. yeah, it feels amazing to be honest. A lot of people say that. It feels so. Because <laughs> so something Joanna really doesn't like mm. in a partner is lying. Mm. Now, I we obviously we don't know DJ that well, yeah. but this face is the face of an honest man. Look how angelic. <laughs> Look at his eyes. Oh, this is good. a man who could never lie to us. So we're going to play Two okay. Truths and a Lie. All right. So you've got to come up with two things about you that are true yeah. and one thing that's a lie. Okay. And if he's too good at lying, game over. <laughs> okay? So we'll see. Oof. We'll see. And then that's me and Joanna are going to see okay. how good you are at lying. Lying. Okay. okay. I'll try my best. <laughs> no, you, well, yeah, you're gonna so want it. So two lies and a No, two answer. things that are true, yeah. and then one, and no. you've got to plant something in there that's not true. Not true. And we've got to work out which one of the three it is. Oh, right, okay. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Mm, I'm, I'm born ready. I'm born. born ready. <laughs> Feisty and fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on. I got my driving license in 2019. 2019, that's only a few years ago. Mm. Got born again. I'm not precise about this one, but I'll go with a, a period of being a teenager. Okay, born again as a teenager. Feasible. Mm. You know how to, to break down? You can literally see him making that up in his head before your very eyes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> not too obvious. Is it too obvious? Well, thank goodness that you can't lie. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> I should Shut have, up, it. I should have picked something different, but... Okay, we've done that. Oh, nice. too. Yeah, we've yeah. Done that. Honestly. <laughs> Those two. Oh, so pleased that me going through my notes made it into the edit. Yeah. Stage fright? Yeah, maybe... I'm Are just, you? I feel it, though. Shall we do a calming down technique? Maybe Hold hands. that would be good. Yeah. Right, I'm so... I'm my hands all sweaty. This is called... They're not. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I think right. they're all right. A little okay. hand massage. Okay. So, with, this is called pulse. When you feel the pulse in your mm. right hand, you yeah, have to okay. squeeze your left hand. So, you'll squeeze my hand. Okay. This one. Right now? Yeah. Okay. And right. then I squeeze yours. Oh, yeah. And you pass it round the circle. Ah, I see. Okay. And that's... Okay, it's not come back yet. Yeah, good. Oh, yeah. And you just close your eyes. Oh, of course you have you do it. Okay. And you breathe. <sighs> And you just pass the pulse. It's not come back yet. It's not come back. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. You forgot. Forgot. This. You forgot. You said it's okay. Did you read? Did you say? Guys, you're not making this as relaxing as it's supposed to be. I'm having to like really <laughs> squeeze. He keeps forgetting to squeeze. <laughs> you have to squeeze when you feel a squeeze, DJ. <laughs> We're trying to chill out here. <laughs> I think I got my timing wrong, you say. Okay. Okay, yeah. let's try one more one time. More time yeah? All right. <laughs> You're just squeezing randomly now. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Well, on a scale of I one to ten, like how this. chill do you feel now? Ah, nice. Oh, I think it works. I actually do yeah. think yeah. it works. It's yeah, yeah. nice. Nice. It's just a little moment. Yeah. Well, that was about as soothing as a leg wax. Yeah. And DJ's going to serve us in another way now oh, because he snack. can do 200 keepy uppies. Oh, what? Oh, I mean the chocolate, chocolate football. Yeah, so this is actually a house that doesn't have a football in it. Oh, right. But we've got a ball. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Backstop in rounders. I wasn't <laughs> sure if I was going to catch that. <laughs> no. Like this, right? I don't know. You're the expert. You can do 200. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two. Oh, my move. <laughs> wow. Yeah? Yeah, I said. Yeah? It's been ages I've done this. And, uh, and it's I'm, quite I'm clearly very good. Oof. Come on. Right, let's go. Right, if you can beat my two, then you're winning. One, two, three, four. Okay, that was good. That was good. That was double what I did. Yeah. It's four to beat. Uh, <laughs> you can beat four. Yeah, four, I, I bet you four, won't. Yeah. Uh, Another set of great shoes. One. Okay, that was rubbish. You can do better. <laughs> you can do better. Wow. One. <laughs> okay, just the two would be great. <laughs> you get in there. Do it on your knee first. Yeah, turn your knee. Yeah. Uh, One. Okay, close. Close. Okay. <laughs> One. Yeah, good, yeah. yeah. One, One, two, two. yeah! <laughs> One, two, two. We should take, we should take that win. Yeah. This show is sponsored by Christians Who Curse Sometimes, where we love Jesus but also mess up and curse a little. Christians Who Curse Sometimes provides daily discussion topics, articles, and resources to grow your faith and grow community by taking the online offline. But we have got some snacks, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that would be nice. Who's going to go first? Uh, I'll go first if you yeah, want. Yeah, go Ladies on. first? Yeah. So, I got okay. fizzy drink. All right. Um, That's lovely. This is Whoa. an interesting shade of yellow. Yeah. What so, are we working with? So, it's called Inca Cola and it's basically, okay. it's a Peruvian drink. It's from Peru. From Peru. Oh, and right. it's basically our equivalent to Coke. We have this with all our meals. It's like Does it taste meal. like Coke? Um, no, it kind of tastes like Fanta and lemonade. It's mm. quite nice. Fanta yeah. Wow. Did you bring it from Peru or do you just have how can't, it? How can I bring it <laughs> we did let her go to the loo, don't worry. Recently, that's no. not. So it's trying I, I got it from a Latino shop. Like they okay. sell like all the stuff. From all the stuff. In the UK, you, get, you have everything in, in this country, that's the beauty. You can that get lots of, of stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You can. You can. Nice. Got this from Brixton Market. Oh, there's a, <laughs> there's a shop in Brixton. Mm. Nice. nice. Okay, so. You, what's your connection with Peru? Um, yes, I'm originally from Peru. Oh, are you? Yeah. Okay. I came here when I was five. Oh, five. Yeah. Wow. Oh. 
And you speak Spanish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you speak Spanish? No. Do you speak hola, hola, hola. Check. Maybe he said that he did. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he probably did. Mm -hmm. Cheers, guys. I bet you see. Hey, Cheers. that actually yeah. looked a bit like a Coca Cola advert. The way that they like, the way <laughs> they cling together. You yeah. know, like banging in Coca Cola. <laughs> what do you think? Do you like it? It's not your thing. <laughs> I think it tastes a bit like yellow iron brew. Have you had it does taste brew? a bit like mm, iron brew. Now, yeah. now that I think about it, yeah, it does. It's not, it does. It's not usually I, my vibe. What snack have you brought with I you, know. DJ? Well, yeah. Show me the food. I shall show you. Uh, so, I guess. Oh! Fountain! Yeah. I love fountain. Do you love fountain? I love it, yeah. Oh. So, Joanna <laughs> wanted to know. Where is your favorite place in the whole world? Hmm, good question. Just because I've not been to a lot of places, you know, I would say Lagos in Nigeria. Why? What like do you it. love about Lagos? Um, the hustle and bustle of the city is nice, it's a lot of fun. Cool. Yeah. And DJ wanted to know from you, Joanna, mm -hmm. how do you reckon you get on on Love Island? Yeah. <laughs> I think I would be like the person a bit of like the mother, I think, Check and him. giving advice to people and comforting okay. like the um, islanders that have a, that are going through stress or whatever. So I think I'll try and be the diplomat and the mother and yeah, the counselor. <laughs> I can okay. imagine myself doing like so. I do that in my yeah. friend group. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Nice. nice. So DJ wanted to know mm -hmm. how do you best connect with God through prayer um, in my alone time. Um, listening to some preachers and in my dreams. Mm. Yeah. And from you, DJ, okay. can you tell Joanna who your faith heroes are? Oh, I don't know if you could. Someone could say David. But I would say David, um, mm. just because a lot of things yeah, he went through, and um, he always still find a way to come back to God. Or when he, he did sin and messed up, and it, he kept coming back, and then God rescued him. So I would say David. All right, let's chat to them one on one to see how they think it's going. Are you having a good time? It's been fun. The experience has been fun, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's something new. You pleased you came? Yeah, yeah. What do you think of DJ? Tell me what you think of DJ. I think he's a lovely person. Yeah, he and is. And he's friendly and so friendly and open and um, good natured. Mm. So, I, I, but um, I I haven't felt like um, romantic feelings towards him. Okay. I just feel like he's a okay. nice person. So, like a great person, great to have met, but maybe not the like date it, vibes. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, I don't think he. I, there just wasn't that kind of um, romantic connection. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How are you enjoying the day? Yeah, really, really good. Um, honestly, like, it's it's it's, an, it's a bit of an eye opener for me. Like, you know, never take anything granted. Mm. Um, you never know what what good on that's on the other side. Mm. And just don't look at it like uh, because I was making my decision. I was like, mm. and I, I paused and said. Mm. I watched the show and I saw the entertainment factor and every other thing. And I came in here today with an open mind. I said, you know, never know what God brings. Mm. And that's what was written in the messages as well, saying like, yeah. you just go with go with the flow and then you don't know what how good it could be. Yeah. And to me, today's been really good. Oh, I'm, glad. I'm so pleased. Yeah. I'm so pleased. I'm buzzing inside. I, just want, oh. I don't know if I'll show my reaction, but I am. Oh, but you think she's great? I think she's great. She's okay, a wonderful yeah. person. And I think amazing. Like, wow. Oh. That's why I say you've done a great job. Oh. Yeah. She is. She's yeah. amazing. Yeah. She yeah. is great. Big time. Um, DJ, um, I think that you're very open. You're very friendly and comfortable to be around. Thank you. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I would say very warm energy, and you come across as someone who is really um, nice to everyone. And I feel that you kind of, kind of passing that, you know, put people first. That oh, and consider the kind of job you do as well. So 
I'm getting that care and vibe and love from you. Like, that's commendable. Oh, thank you. Sure. I think my least favourite is when there's a clear difference in, um, in the way that each person feels. And I just think they're both so brilliant and I think it's so important to be straight up if, if something isn't going to work for you. But do you know what? What I respect the most is when someone's like, why wouldn't I give this a go? I respect it so much. And I feel like, I feel like anybody watching this, like that's what you want from a man. Someone who's like, yes, I'm all in. I know I want to invest in this. So I would definitely be ready with the URL. This is the part where our couple choose between IRL or URL. If they both pick IRL in real life, we'll send them off on a date without the cameras so they can get to know each other a little better. But if one or both of them go for URL, it's not been a match. And we'll put a link, or URL, in the notes below so that you can get in touch with them directly to ask them out yourself. <laughs> I think you're a really nice guy. And um, I can imagine, you know, being a friend with you, but I don't feel romantic feelings. It's been really nice meeting you. Yeah, um, I think she's a great, great person, and I totally understand um, her angle. And we're having a, a chit chat upstairs, so I do get where I think I understand where her decision is coming from. And yeah, <laughs> what's meant to be is meant to be. So yeah. Great. Oh, guys, it yeah. wasn't a match, but that means that you get the chance to ask out Joanna and DJ using the link below. Yes, yeah, been a cool experience and I really enjoyed being here. And if you want to cup some plantain chips with me, feel free to click the link below and uh, yeah, let's get it. Let's make that happen. If you would be up for doing a dance class and you also like to write, um, drop me a message on the link below. If you want to join me for Salt's third wheel dates, you can apply for the show with the link below. I might make you do keepy uppies with the tiniest ball known to man, and I may scoff all your planting crisps, but fun is guaranteed. And even if it's not a romantic match, we'll give viewers at home the opportunity to drop you a message and ask you out and you never know who could be watching.